Hello Vavers you're watching YouTube channel USA News Alert. Breaking. President Trump says he was shocked by Meghan Markle's nasty comment about him. President Donald Trump has revealed his shock at Meghan Markle's nasty comments about him, but believes she will make a great American princess. The U.S. leader can expect a lavish welcome from the Queen, Charles and Harry at Buckingham Palace on Monday. Speaking to the Sun in the Oval Office. Trump told of his great honor at meeting the 93-year-old monarch again, and how he's ready to lock horns with the Prince of Wales on climate change. Relations with Meghan are believed to be much frostier, yet Trump was generous in his praise for the new mom. Officially she will miss next week's functions while on maternity with three-week-old son Archie. But it is thought she and Trump are being kept apart to avoid an embarrassing confrontation. LA-born Meghan, 37 accused him of being misogynistic and divisive during his 2016 presidential campaign. The ex-Suits actress also pledged to vote for his rival Hillary Clinton. Told of Meghan's barbs by the sun, Trump insisted it was the first time he'd heard them. He said, I didn't know that. What can I say? I didn't know that she was nasty. When told Meghan had threatened to leave for Canada if he won in 2016, he countered. A lot of people are moving here, to the U.S. Serena Williams visits Meghan Markle, baby Archie, report he also revealed that he had no idea that he wouldn't be meeting Meghan on his three-day state visit to the U.K. He said, I didn't know that. I hope she is okay. Rather than hit back at Meghan in his customary fashion, the president seemed willing to mend fences, while saying she can flourish in her new role. He predicted she will make a very good American princess. On her joining the royal family, he added, It is nice, and I am sure she will do excellently. She will be very good. I hope she does, succeed. Meghan detailed why she didn't like Trump in a 2016 interview on US talk show, The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore. She said, It's really the moment I go. We film suits in Toronto and I might just stay in Canada. Yes, of course, Trump is divisive, think about female voters alone, right? She said. I think it was in 2012 the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That is a huge number and with as misogynistic as Trump is, and so vocal about it, that is a huge chunk of it. She added, you're not just voting for a woman if it's Hillary, Clinton. Yes, you're voting because she's a woman, but certainly, because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want the kind of world that he's painting. Trump, who will be joined on his trip by First Lady Melania, 49, is also ready to talk environmental issues with Charles over tea next week. The prince is expected to tackle the president on his controversial decision to pull America out of the Paris Climate Change Agreement last year. Trump told the son of the encounter, I have met Charles before. I like Charles. I think that's very good. We will be talking. I can say we have among the cleanest climate in the world right now. Our air and water are doing very well. We hope other countries can do so well. You know, it is a big atmosphere and frankly if one country is going to be bad and other countries going to be good, the country that is good gets penalized. Which is unfair. In a sign at how deeply Trump values the honor of his state visit and being hosted by the Queen, he is bringing all four of his grown-up children and their spouses to share the experience. And he wants Ivka, Tiffany, Eric, and Donald Jr. to hold a next-generation meeting with Princes William and Harry. The president said, I think my children will be meeting them. It would be nice. He explained, I am bringing some of the family. They are going to be there and we will be greatly honored by the trip. It will be great seeing the Queen for the second time. We had a very good talk the first one. We had a lot of interesting things to say. It really was a great visit. My mother also loved the Queen. 